What's up everyone, Boone here from Boone Loves Video. Today I've got another quick tip tutorial for you. Today I'm gonna to talk about source patching. So what is source patching? Well first, we need to talk about the source monitor. So if you double click any kind of asset in your project panel, it's gonna launch it in your source monitor. And we can see it here in our source monitor, we can put in and out points. Let's go ahead and double click another one. Here's one that already has an in and out point. So we wanna move this to our timeline. Now one thing that affects where and on which track it ends up is the source patching uh, indicator here. So you can see source patching for inserts and overwrites. And we have video one and audio one. And now don't get these confused with track targeting. Off to the right is track targeting. And to the left is source patching. Now if we go over here back to our source monitor and you click on the drop down menu here, we can do close all and that's gonna clear out our two video clips that were loaded in our source monitor. And now if you look back down here, you see that the source patching, there's nothing indicated here because there's nothing in our source monitor. So there's nothing that is being routed or patched through here. So let's reload another clip. And again, if I double click all these, you'll see that they're all loaded in the source monitor. And we can pick and, and choose between which one we wanna load. Okay, so now let me show you how the source patching works. I'm gonna move I playhead here, and now we're gonna do some insert and overwrite edit. So if we drag over here, we can do an overwrite, and you're gonna see it put audio and video on track one. Now watch what happens when we move these source patching indicators onto different tracks. I just moved video to uh, video track two. And you can see there, now if I move the audio down one, and I go and do another overwrite or an insert edit, there you go. Now I can even click on one and turn it off. So now it's just gonna be video. Let's bring it back down to track one. If I insert or overwrite. So you can see source patching has a, basically decides where on your timeline and on which track your video is gonna end up. And again, it's different from track targeting, completely different. I'll be covering that in another tutorial. It's a little bit more complex. And again, remember this is just for insert and overwrite, and you also have your keyboard shortcuts that you can use from within the source monitor. So if I'm in the source monitor here, I can use period and comma to do automatic inserts and overwrites. All right, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. See you next week.